risk freelancer. Built for life. Now, over the last few years, Origin has become more known for looking fast than any sort of actual speed. Take the 300i. A ship that brags about its extra comfy beds isn't exactly what you want when you're looking for a racer. However, all is not lost. Origin has just written us an apology letter. Meet the new M50. Space. The best ships gracefully dance across its expanse. The worst clumsily plod across its face. The new M50 doesn't have time for any of that. Instead, it simply slices its way through. The 2944 M50 was designed with one goal in mind. Make the ship that will win the next Murray Cup. The surprising thing is, Origin may have just about done it. The stats are an orgy of mind-bending numbers, but it comes down to two things. Less weight and more power. You'll notice that the nose cone has grown what I can only describe as a moustache, added to stabilise all the additional thrust that the retooled and updated Twin Hammer HM 4.3 drives spew out. And the refinement doesn't stop there. They've narrowed the front fuselage, moved the wings forward for better balance, shaved the cockpit viewpane down to the thinnest it could still be, and not shatter in your face. The result? A pure flying machine. Each movement on the stick translates directly into unadulterated throttle action. Welcome back to the glory days of flying. That's all well and good, but when you're talking about a racing machine, at the end of the day, you really have to, well, race it. And who better to prove the M50's metal than the last Origin ship to actually manage a cup win, the 350R. Piloting the 350R is Galactic Gear's very own two-time cup holder, Timo Bakshi. Flying the M50, an incredible man who, for some inconceivable reason, has never won a single Murray Cup. Me. This, my friends, is going to be good. Five, four.